Hey everyone, welcome to part 5, and uh, I really got carried away for that last one, it's because I'm enjoying you, your guys' company so much, so, uh, you know, alright, uh, I wonder if I'll be able to upload that 17 minute video, I hope so, otherwise YouTube are gay, so let's continue, which means I have to edit all of that again, which sucks ass, uh, <laughs> right, okay, but the beauty of editing this bit is that you only have to really scale it in because it's already been edited which is cool so in like that it goes we've still got some parts sticking out here what is this madness alright it's just where I haven't selected it okay that's that's fine so if I just move that back in here like so right these seem to be being gay so if I just select all those and then I'm talking really quiet I'm sorry I shouldn't be talking this quiet right okay deselect that deselect that deselect these deselect those and then select select okay that should be looking a hell of a lot better now it shouldn't be looking as gay as it did before so now that we've sized everything up accordingly now it's time to work on the clip now the clip looks pretty simple to do uh, is that a flashlight yes it is we'll do that in a minute but right now I'm just working on the clip so the clip is yeah the video is up no views Woo -woo! so um, we're just working on this clip here so I'm not gonna be doing all that that's too high detail we don't want that so if I just do that, you're going to have to bevel it, and then we're going to have to do a good old circular thingamajig at the end of it. So this doesn't really require much. I'm not really going to put much time into this clip at all, because uh, I'm pretty sure we're all eager now to get on with this and stop modeling. So as you can see here, I've just made like a really long, whoops, I press H. We've just modeled like a really long cube. We're, we're rotating it, and we're doing this and that. Uh, this here, so... This here is like a part here, so if I just do that, right. Right, okay, so something here, obviously, this is like a, it's got like a dent in it for some reason, I don't know why. I'm not a gun professional, people. I mean, yeah, I know my guns, but I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm a gun professional, that's, that's a bit, that's the bit over the top. So, what we're doing here is just scaling that up, and we're moving this here. That's looking okay. It's not looking perfect, but we're not trying to get this perfect. You gotta remember that. Right now, what we're doing, we're just gonna do a little something here because I need to do this. So if I view top, um, actually no, I'm not gonna view top because that makes it really confusing. It's really confusing anyway. But I'm just gonna quickly do something that I want to do. So if I was to do that, in fact, view top, loop cut and slide, loop cut and slide, right, okay, so, deselect those, and we're just going to move that like that, that looks really bad, doesn't it, doesn't that just look awful? Flip that, I'm not doing that, Jesus Christ. Right, so it'll just have to stay as that, because we are modeling a low poly gun here, we have to remember this. So, uh, that's looking just fine as it is, I suppose. Except for the fact that we do have to scale her up. In fact, she's looking okay, she's looking good. So, now we've done that, we're just going to work on this rail up here, which... Whoa, what have I done? Which should be really easy, I mean... We're gonna have to make up a part of it here, but that's fine. That's not a that's not a problem, All right? All right. Okay. Then we scale this up, and then we do this, and then we go pop, pop. Okay. Uh, right. We're just gonna keep doing this here. 
So this is the way that I personally do the rails. I don't spend much detail. I don't spend much detail. I don't uh, add so much detail to the rails because they don't really need it. Uh, you don't see them that much. And, well, either way, it's good enough to have a rail and still be under the poly limit. So, you know, we're just going to do this and then do that and then do this and then do that. Give a little hip hop. Okay. Now I'm going to make sure that this is the right thickness for that. All right, okay, that's just about right. Oh, uh, right, okay, we're just going to use the face select now, just to really carefully select all of these on the top. You should be used to the macros by now, so I shouldn't really have to explain these, it's just me really trying to finish this model, so hopefully you guys understand what I mean with this stuff. And if you don't, then shame on you for not listening, go back to part one. Thank you, goodbye. Right, um... I'm going to finish this gun, this tutorial part, I think. I need to. I have to. Now, I'm not sure how that sight there is accomplished. And it doesn't really show how it is either. So, bear with me. I'm just going to roughly make it up on how to do that. But, of course, you guys will obviously look into your models a lot more than I am. I should hope. Uh, right now what we want with this is we want to make a cube and we just want to do this oh face select go away I don't need you right now I don't think I'll need it oh yeah I will I will need the face select again sometime during this tutorial so I haven't broken up with it just yet alright uh, let's put that there move that back here do this I'm talking to myself again technically I'm talking to you guys but okay you guys don't answer me anyway. Cry. Right, so what we want to do now is we want to do this. And we want to rotate this to the part that we want it to be. So, it's about there. And can you see that at all? Yes, you can. But, because I'm that picky. Uh, right, if I just do this and then go here. Double click with the loop cut. Right, okay. So, I'm going to move this down, and then I'm going to move these two down with it, so uh, it's got like a sort of, oh hang on, hang a banger. Right, this isn't really accurate, I know, but I'm just trying to make it sort of uh, accurate in a way, in like a sense so you guys get a rough idea of how I go about this so now that that part's done really quickly right there's like a hole in that isn't there so if I was just to kind of go face select I told you I'd be using the face select again yay love it when a plan comes together okay so I just scale that down and then move that down like that detail you don't need but it's detail that I feel the need to place okay so there probably isn't even a hole there and I'm being a retard, but you never know. So, oh wait, I'm just going to use this piece that I used earlier on, because it's the same size, I just need to do that. It's the same width, as opposed to the same size. So, oh, I'm no, I'm not changing it, because I'm not contradicting myself in this video. Even though I probably have already. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to go there, we're going to go... Whoa, boosh loop cut and slide no wrong place loop cut and slide and then use this and then go like this and then be really boring with my tutorial because I can't think of anything to say right okay and then we move this here and then we go 90 degrees what's the time on oh my god 9 minutes we're rushing now right, okay and then I'm basically moving this here like so Right, okay, yep. Right, okay, view back. Move that up so it's like that. View right. Okay, so that's that that's pretty much that done. So now we need to select the faces and we're gonna just select all the middle faces in here like this, okay? And we're gonna go delete faces and we're gonna select all view front 
extrude click and then oh wait hang on then we're gonna do s x scale that in x s and then z and we're gonna or z depending on where you're from and then we're gonna do that and basically i'm just gonna make that a little bit wider because it needs to be and now i'm just gonna quickly tweak this out here sorry if i'm not being clear guys again if you really need help with anything just feel free to ask and i will answer your questions so i'm gonna move that back here a little bit because uh it's okay to freestyle okay i'm gonna move these down because uh i need to use this to be able to see right okay so if i just select here oh wait i'm gonna do it this a different way because i feel that this needs to be done as opposed to this so we're gonna get the cube here and we're gonna really scale this down to about there and then we're gonna just get this up here okay and then we're gonna view front because uh, things weird on mine right okay we're gonna put that in there first view back sorry right okay so now we're just trying to get this trying to get this like a like a iron sight basically right okay this needs to be lower down so I'm just gonna quickly do that now view back right okay now having that done we need to make this thinner okay and that's pretty much the p90 sights done uh, the p90 is just about finished we're just gonna make some we're gonna add some flashlights and stuff and that'll be cool okay I'm gonna keep the marker there so I can see my time so I don't go off track like I did before uh, so alright there's obviously a few parts that I've forgotten here so I'm just gonna really quickly do those and I am sorry for how long this is taking this is the fifth part now on just the modeling so that's really bad but it's all for a good cause that is my excuse so if I just make this bigger here and then do that and then right that's just about the right scale that I want so if I used to go into edit mode face select and then go boom extrude bring that out like so right Come on, Dan, you haven't got long to finish. Come on. Right, okay, and then do that. That is obviously too big, so I'm just going to bring that down like that and size that down like that. Uh, right, right. Z, loop, cut, and slide. Uh, right, okay, and then do that. Now we're just going to delete these here because we don't need them. But we need these pieces, so we're just going to go delete faces, and then we're going to do the face thing that we did before but we need this for something else right okay so F F F no no okay there we go there we go there we go there and here okay that's that part done as you can see so that's the really difficult part done there and now we need to go yeah guys if I don't finish this, this tutorial I'm just gonna quickly do it and then restart the video of me texturing it purely because well you know this is this is really starting to drag on a bit now isn't it so I'm just gonna really quickly do this alright okay I'm doing this for your sake people don't moan at me please I, I only wanna make good videos okay and then I move this and then I do that and then I do that I used this method in part two I believe so if you want to know how I just did that then please say right okay right okay this will be the end of part uh, five I hope you guys enjoyed this part. I will be making more parts. So I will see you guys whenever I can. Thank you and goodbye.